In testing conditions, Winchester City were looking to continue their five-game winning run as they took on Shortwood United on Saturday. All eyes were on Warren Bentley yet again, with the captain having already registered 19 league goals this season. A win for Winchester would see them take up a position in the automatic promotion spots, while Shortwood looked to continue their charge towards the playoffs. With the rain teeming down and the wind an obvious factor, there was not much to report in the first 20 minutes, with this header from Zach Glasspool the closest the home side came to breaking their deadlock. Despite the lack of any clear chances early on, fans awaited the game's first real action, with the Winchester faithful behind Paul Masters' men from the very first whistle. Soon, the away side started to carve out some openings, with the wind a crucial factor in their favour. This audacious effort from Wood midfielder Meredith flashed just wide. Winchester's frontman Bentley looked an increasingly frustrated figure as his side struggled to create many chances for he and Glassball to feed off. And soon, after 31 minutes, Shortwood's dominance saw them rewarded with a goal. Good work from the wayside's number nine resulted in Ross Staley smashing the ball past the helpless Winchester goalkeeper. Manager Paul Masters and the rest of his staff watched on anxiously as Winchester struggled to stamp their authority on the game. Winchester's frustrations continued to pile up as a crunching tackle on midfielder Jamie Barron left the home side furious. The Winchester number four was clearly hurt, with the referee calling for treatment, despite refusing to show any card to the shortwood player involved. And just seconds after he was reintroduced from the sidelines, Barron left his mark on the shortwood side with another dangerous looking challenge. This time the referee chose to show his yellow card. The win was becoming more and more crucial to the game as it went on, with Winchester keeper Brendan Norris struggling to deal with the ball sent into his box. And that was the end of the action for the half, with Winchester looking for a much improved performance in the second half. And they started in the best possible fashion, with an equaliser just minutes after the interval. This time the win was in the home side's favour, with this corner causing total havoc. Matt Benham was the man to smash in the loose ball, and all of a sudden Winchester were right back in the game. It was an eventful start to the second half, and soon after the goal, Ross Daly thought he had his second of the game, only for the linesman to rule out his effort for offside. Time after time, the shortwood keeper King struggled to deal with the ball sent into his box, and by now Winchester were the side in the ascendancy. Next came the chance Warren Bentley had been waiting for, with the ball falling to him around 20 yards from goal, but King did exceptionally well to get down and guide the captain's effort around the post. Winchester had a disallowed goal of their own, when Jamie Barron's neat finish into the bottom corner was ruled out for offside, much to the home side's disappointment. It was Warren Bentley who the home fans were backing to net the winner, with the supporters behind Shortwood's goal chanting the talisman's name throughout the second half. Winchester continued to dominate, and this time King did well to parry away a glancing header from Glasspool. Barron, who had an extremely busy game, came agonisingly close to getting Winchester second, with this fantastic effort cannoning back off the woodwork. In contrast, Bentley, who had had a very quiet game by his standards, let his frustration show, as this tackle deep in the away side's half saw him pick up a booking. The wind and rain picked up yet again, and Wood almost used this to their advantage, as another curled corner forced Norris to clear away. But just under 10 minutes from time, Winchester got their all-important goal, with the increasing wins again a huge factor. After some good work on the right-hand side, Adam Tommaso's chip from just inside the box was blown over King, with the shortwood defenders unable to clear. The question now was whether Winchester could hold on to what would be a hugely important win. And some sloppy play at the back very nearly saw the home side throw the win away just seconds from the full-time whistle, with Norris doing well to gather in this deflected strike. But that was that, and Winchester got the three points they had worked so hard for, with Masters' men charging up to third in the league table. Yeah, I've, I think the conditions played a big part in the game today. Um, obviously, first half, we were against the win and found it very difficult. Second half, I thought we'd probably just done enough to win the game. We, we just knew the first half were against the wind and it, it knew how difficult it would be. And all we said, we wanted them to play on the front foot and try and move the ball quickly. Um, and we'd wear them down as the game went on. And that's, that's what happened, really. You know. We take every game as it comes, but you know the boys are confident, and I've said all along this season that we're not scared of anyone in our league, and as long as we put the right effort in, our ability will take care of itself. <laughs>